And then the next feature that I wanna be talking about here is related to control. Many of our users today are leveraging the voice flow knowledge base and LLMs to run the conversation. And so sometimes we want greater control and we want to reduce the amount of hallucinations that are inherent in some of these implementations. And these hallucinations are sometimes fine in certain circumstances, but in other times you want to actually have greater control on what the knowledge base responds. So this new FAQ API, which we are releasing today, is now available to all users where you can now add greater control to your knowledge base and your AI agents. And uh, we'll show a demo of this now. In this demonstration today, I'm going to showcase how to have greater control of your AI agents. So in this example, I've created a e-commerce chatbot connected into the Fenty Beauty Store. And in the knowledge base, I have connected a couple of the product pages from the Fenty Beauty collection into this agent so that people can ask questions about them. Now, if I go ahead and navigate to one of these pages, you can see that it has the product name, product price, and then a product description. All the things that I need for my AI agent to answer um, questions about this product. Now, one of the things that is really important where I don't want any risk of hallucinations occurring is related to product price. When someone asks about the price of any of my products, I wanna give an accurate response. So let's go ahead and see how that works. I'm going to run the prototype and I'm going to select, I want to have um, AI product FAQs. All right, so the first question I'm going to ask is how much is, and let's go and take a look at how much is this sunscreen? So I'm just going to copy it, jump back over to voice flow. And it says $36, which if I navigate back over to this page, that's not accurate. It's actually $39. Let's try a different product. So let's do the eye cream. How much is the eye cream? $42. So if we go back to that page, $42 is correct. And then finally, let's go and do the face scrub. How much is the face scrub? $28, that's correct. So the initial product price was hallucinated, but then the following two were the accurate answers. So how was that implemented? Well, behind the scenes, I was using the new FAQ API to actually set the questions that need exact answers. So in here, you can see, I said, if someone asks a question around regarding the eye cream, if someone asks the question around the uh, cleansing face scrub, these are the prices, these are the answers that you should be returning. Now, if any user now comes and has a similar prompt to any one of these, it doesn't obviously need to be exact, but if it has a 90% similarity score with these questions that I've inputted into my knowledge base, then the exact, um, the accurate answer will be returned, which again is going to give me way more control of my AI agents. And there is more things coming in store over the coming months, which is gonna make this even more powerful for the voice flow users. Thank you. Awesome.